YouTube. This is C O Z U N O N. Back again with Brother Billy. Brother Billy. And today we're going to be talking about our 10 most anticipated games for 2012. Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. 2011 was an awesome year for gaming. It really was. There's so many great titles. And 12 just looks like it's going to be shaping up the same exact way as 11 was. And I'm going to be a broke motherfucker again. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go over. Like, 11 had so many awesome titles, like, even throughout the year. Yeah. Like, even in, like, the summertime when there was, like, the slump, you know? You have, uh, you had L.A. Noir. That game was it. Yeah, I love the game. Um, to kick off the holiday season, you had Deuce X. Yeah, Deuce X, that was awesome. Even if you roll back a little bit further, you had, a uh, Bullet Storm. Hell fucking yeah. I mean, and, and to go through the holiday season, you, you had Batman Arkham City, uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. Awesome game. Playing awesome right game. Now. Skyrim. Hell fucking yeah. That Rage. Is epic. I mean, just so Rage many great good. titles. And it's an awesome time to be a gamer right now. And it, it looks like 2012 is, is set to be just as an epic year for video games as 2011 was. It's a good time to be a gamer, just like my brother said. Exactly. Another game, uh, another game that's on my top ten is is, is a fighting game, and, and Marvel Wars Capcom three came out. Uh, there's kind of a lot of controversy around that because it is Capcom, where a lot of people kind of crap con because of all the shady business they're doing. But why don't we go ahead and we'll start uh, with our top five games, and I won't say the top five, but the five that both of us that's on both of our lists. And the very first one on the list is Twisted Metal. Metal. Hell yeah. We've both been waiting for this game for quite a long time. We were both big fans of Twisted Metal, uh, especially Twisted Metal 2, back in the PlayStation days. That game was just fucking awesome. Yeah. And this one, it's it, it's going. I, I it's supposed to be going back to the original, which is awesome. You know, you have Twisted Metal 1 and 2, and the same developers that did those did Black. And the, this is the same people who did those three titles. So, it's going to be... Fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Three and four were kind of a letdown. And then they had like the little mini one where you were like the little mini cars, which was bullshit. Bullshit. But this one's supposed to shipping up to be really fucking awesome. And you're supposed to be able to get out of your cars and get into other cars so you can be sweet truth driving axle. Something I'm not like real hot on, but I can't wait to play and try the multiplayer. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a fucking awesome game. Hell yeah. And if you guys haven't seen any trailers on this, I would recommend going to see, like, look up some trailers and screenshots. It looks really, really sick. Fuck yeah. Uh, the next game on both of our list is Grand Theft Auto 5. I've been in love with Grand Theft Auto ever since. I don't want to say, I can't say 1 and 2. It, I, I can't I, say that either. It, it, was, it was number 3. It was 3. Uh, I did play 1 and 2, but I never really could get into 1 and 2. But when 3. Uh, came out for the PS2, it just changed the way I looked at video games for ever. I mean, I've been a big fan of sandbox games ever fucking since. Hell yeah. And this one is uh, going back to uh, San Andreas, sorry. San Andreas. Going back to San Andreas, and, and I, my, me personally, I've been wanting a San Andreas stories for a long time. We got this Liberty City stories, we got the Vice City stories, but we never got San, San Andreas stories, and I kind of felt ripped off. But this is going back to San Andreas. Especially since San Andreas was a, such a better game. San Andreas was so fucking awesome. But it's still kind of uncertain if they're going to have San Fierro and that the Los Venturos, or whatever they called it. If that's going to be in there, but I mean... Uh, San Andreas is is so huge, definitely. It's uh not very much has come out on GTA 5 yet, but what has come out looks spectacular. Hell yeah! And then another game that's on both of our list, and I can't wait to play this fucking game, Mass Effect 3. Three. Hell fucking yeah, people! Wow, it took me a while to actually get into number one, but once I got it, I loved it, and and. I, I regret because I didn't go through everything in one. I kind of just sped through it. And then when 2 came out, I made sure I did. I, I went through everything. And I was very you know, very meticulous and went through everything I could in Mass Effect 2. And and then... Uh, I still to this day haven't played Mass Effect 2. When I bought Mass Effect 2, I made a decision that I'm going to wait until Mass Effect 3. 
then I'm going to play all three games in a row. At the end of two, I was so fucking pumped. And I don't want to I don't want to ruin it for you, but at the ending just got me so pumped up for number three. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not gonna say shit. <laughs> no spoilers, please. And then uh another game? It's it's another sequel, but it's Borderlands 2. Oh fuck yeah. We me and my brother spent so much time playing that game. That game is fucking awesome. So fucking awesome. It's okay single player, but but Multiplayer is where the game's at. The magic is in the multiplayer, dude. Getting on Xbox Live and playing with, with friends or family, just the amount of weapons that you had in the first game. That Borderlands was so much more was so much fun. And I am I have full confidence that Gearbox is gonna give us an uh, even better experience with Borderlands two. I was kinda iffy on it at first. I'm still a little iffy because, you know, there wasn't the developer said they didn't put a lot of background information in the characters. But I really like Mordecai. I really like the sniper guy. And, and I'm kind of bummed that you're not going to be able to play this guy in the new game. You'll probably have somebody uh, who's a sniper class. Because so far, all you've seen is that little sawed-off midget motherfucker. But hopefully you're right. But like I said... the big fucking body. Yeah, I, I really like I really liked Mordecai. I love being in, in the sniper position. I really hope he was going to come back to number two. But it, it doesn't look like he is. They said he's going to be in there some aspect, like to teach you some shit. Or to help you in your in your your the game somehow, but he's not going to be a playable character. But uh, and then last and final game number five that's on both of our lists is Street Fighter X Tekken. Fuck yeah, that mm. game looks fucking sweet. This game is so many years in the making, mm -hmm. and to be honest, I really thought we were going to get like a Street Fighter, you know, versus Mortal Kombat before we got a Tekken. You know, because this game would be crap. If it was made by Capcom, it'd be good. But, you know, we had Street Fighter, you know, versus Marvel, Street Fighter versus X-Men, Marvel versus Capcom, um, even Capcom versus SNK, which is, was an awesome fucking series. But now we're finally getting into Tekken, which is kind of cool, because at first, when Tekken first came out, all the, they had all these campaigns that were taking cheap pop shots at, at, at Street Fighter. Oh, know, yeah, I remember those. Where they would say, you know, oh, oh you're... I had that, too. They were talking about how your ribs were hurt, and it wasn't from a fireball... <laughs> you know, just taking cheap shots. And then Tekken came out and it fucking, it was awesome. It was really fucking awesome, I'm not going to lie. I still didn't like it better than Street Fighter, but it was still a really awesome game. It was. I I personally, I like uh, Tekken better than I like Street Fighter. But combining the two uh, uh, fighting games into one, Ryu it will always be possibly one of my favorite uh Characters to use in any type of fighting game, no, no matter what game I play it on. He's just one of my favorite characters. Even though I can't play as him in in a game like Dead or Alive Five, I still go for those like kind of, kind of Ryu characters if they have them. All right, and and just to say, in 2013, they're supposed to have Tekken X Street Fighter, which is supposed to be more of a Tekken kind of a fighting style because this one's going to be more of a, it's made by Capcom and it's going to have more of the of the Street Fighter feel to it, like the 2D, and then uh, Tekken X Street Fighter is made by the guys who make Tekken, and that's going to come Echo. out next year. Fuck but uh, that game's gonna be you already good. said Dead or Alive 5, so why don't you go ahead and go into your list, because I know that game was one of them. Hell yeah. And then just go into your list and let's talk about your the five games you chose. Well, my... My first game on my list would be Dead or Alive 5. I am an absolute fan of the Dead or Alive series. Uh, I think it's the best fighting series out there right now. The destructible environments, you able to fucking knock people off of buildings, through walls, into into fences. The, the epic violence that you can inflict on your opponent. It, it, it's just, the game is just so much fun. There's just so much to it that... It gives you a reason to to keep on playing it, even when you beat it with a certain character. I I just I love the Dead or Alive series, and I can't wait for Dead or Alive Five. And it's it, it's pretty cool that they're actually coming out with another fighting game. You know they spent so many so many titles on Dead fucking Life volleyball, volleyball and and it just got really old. And and Dead or Alive Four has been out for a long time now. Yeah, it has a really long time. I was thinking that they wasn't going to be putting out a Dead, another Dead or Alive game, but. They're coming out with one this year. I thought the I thought I thought the same thing. I thought it's like it's just another virtual fighter. It just ran its course. Yeah, but, I'm happy it's not though. It's coming out. 
Alright. You wanna go ahead? Yeah, the first game on my, um, um, that I want to talk about is Hitman Ab Absolution. I am a huge Hitman uh, game ever since Hitman 2 on the original Xbox. And I've gone through and I've played every single fucking Hitman ever since. I have multiple Hitman games on multiple consoles. And this one just looks so fucking epic. There is a huge uh, actual in-game play uh, where you're sneaking around, I think, through like a kitchen or something. And the cops are looking for you and this guy's just sneaking around doing quiet. You can either... Do a quiet mode, or you can go in like Rambo and just start killing everybody. But you know, I love games that you know stealth. Love games that revolve around stealth. So that's why I'm a huge Hitman here in Hitman uh, video game fan. And this one's not going to be. It's not going to let me down. I can tell right now just by watching the. I was. I'm a big trailers. fan of uh, the Hitman series as well. Maybe not as much as my brother, but the Hitman series has never failed to impress me. I I've always had a blast playing them. Although it's not in my top ten, it, it would be in my uh, in my mentionables. All right, go ahead and uh, what's your next one? My next one would be Two Worlds Three. Two worlds. The first two worlds was crap. As my brother likes to put it, crap. Two Worlds Two was a step uh, in the right direction. It wasn't a perfect game by any means, but it was good enough to really. Uh, it, it, it grabbed my attention, and I really enjoyed that game. If they keep going in the in the direction that they're going, I I am hoping that Two Worlds Three will be an experience unlike. Well, of course it won't be like Skyrim, but you know it, it'll it'll be an, an interesting experience to play Two Worlds Three. What do you mean it won't be like Skyrim? When Two Skyrim Worlds, just when two worlds came out, everyone's like, this is going to kill Morrowind. This is going to be so much better than Oblivion. This is the good All you killer. fuckers were liars. I just want you guys to know that right now. Anybody that ever said shit like that, fuck you. <laughs> That's to this guy right here. Fuck you. Alright, and then uh, next on my list is Bioshock Infinite. Wow, this game just looks freaking amazing. I cannot <laughs> wait till this game comes out. I love the first Bioshock. It took me a while to play it. Actually, Brother Billy told me I should play it. I tried to get into it, couldn't really get into it, and then I tried to get into it again, and I loved it. And number two, I just could not put number two down until I finished it. And Infinite's just looking so awesome. It was a. Uh, I was kind of wondering what were they going to do next, because you know, under, I, you can only do so much underwater. I think, yeah, I think the underwater thing kind of ran its course, and that was just getting kind of old. It, it, it was kinda, getting old, and then it kind of was wearing thin with number two. I don't. I don't want to say it was wearing thin with number two because number two was still awesome. It's just so many, so many different environments got destructed, were were destroyed. It really made you think like how much of this under, huge underground city is left that you didn't fucking demolish, and and if they came up with another one, it's like well, there's more of this city, but now they're going straight up to the skies, and it's it's just going to be awesome. Hell I can't yeah. wait. And you and you got the uh, the sky rails where you. Hop on and you can go from balloon to balloon or part of the city to part of the city. The game looks promising. The game doesn't look promising. It is promising. I guarantee you fucking that. The Bioshock Infinite is also in my mentionables. I'm a huge Bioshock fan. I absolutely loved the first one. The second one wasn't as good as the first one, but I still enjoyed it a lot. <clears throat> I'm really excited about uh, Bioshock Infinite, though. Even though it's not in my, my top ten... It's, it's it's still on my mind, so that that's a good thing. All right, let's go ahead and go to your your next one. My next one is Diablo three. Dia the, <clears throat> the Diablo series. I'll be completely honest with you. I never really played the first two. I hype myself up just by watching gameplay videos. Uh, reading interviews and the such and the game looks fucking awesome uh, just the different characters that you can use and plus I'm, I've always been a role playing game fan so I think Diablo 3 is just going to be something that you know I love and the guys at Blizzard they don't really make crap that often and I have complete faith in their ability in, in making a good great game and then next on my game, on my list is the new Metal Gear Rising. I've been a huge fan of the Metal Gear series 
from way back in the PS1 days. And when I first found out they were going to make a Metal Gear game around that the uh, the guy that's not Snake, and I was like, what the fuck is this? But you know, I, I want to say it was Metal Gear Solid 2 that did that. When you first started the game, you were Snake, and then you went to this uh, Raiden character. And I, I was really kind of iffy on that. I thought I wasn't really going to like it, but I actually I, I like the character a lot. And now he's coming back in this one, and he's got a lot more cybernetics and shit on him, and he just looks really fucking badass. And this game is looking to be really awesome. And I love Metal Gear, and this one's just going to be the same. The next game on my list is without a doubt, it's actually almost out, it's out uh, February 6th, I think, is the, the Kingdoms of Amalar, or Am yeah, Amalar, The Reckoning. Gameplay for that game, gameplay footage for that game just looks so awesome. It has one of the creative minds behind the Elder Scrolls series uh, help designing it. It has Todd McFarlane. Uh, most of the guys who watch this, you know, are in the in their 30s, so most of you guys know who Todd McFarlane is. It, it's shaping up to be one hell of an experience, and I fully trust the capable hands of, of, the, of those creative artists to make something that I will, I will enjoy. Don't know about that one. That one looks like crap. No, I'm just playing. Next game on my list, we're almost getting, we're getting down to the last couple, so just, just about wrapping it up, is Halo Four. Oh yeah! Wow, uh, I love the Halo series. It's just a f great, awesome series. I have every single game except for Halo Wars. I never really picked that one up or could get in into it. Um, I, I, I liked ODST when a lot of people hated ODST. Um, Three and Reach were just fucking awesome. I did pick up the Anniversary, but I haven't played it yet. Uh, I can't wait till four. I'm kind of a uh, kind of afraid though because it's not Bungie. Um, it's, a, it's like a Microsoft in-home uh, studio this time, so they really, you know, they were they were given a franchise, a really great franchise, and, and giving them all the run with, and they have, there's definitely the ability for them to fuck it up bad. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm hoping they don't, and it sounds like they're on the right track so far, so here's the Halo 4. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that game too. I was more excited about uh, Halo Reach. Uh, Halo 4 isn't on my top 10, but it is in my measurables, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. My top game of 2012, the one I am most in anticipating, is Xenoblade Chronicles. I've been waiting for that game to come out for such a long time, uh, for it just to be uh, brought over to the American shores, because Japan has it, Europe has it, Australia has it, but America didn't get it. Uh, last December, I think, it was finally announced that we, went, we were going to get the game, and we're going to get it April 12th. And I am so stoked, because that game looks so awesome. I, I really, I can't wait for Xenoblade. I, I'm a big fan of uh, Japanese uh, role-playing games, and I'm going to love it. There's just, there's not enough J uh, JRPGs coming to the States, and the fact that we're getting one of the better ones is just thrilling. It, it, it just, I, I'm really happy. I, I've really wanted this game for a long time. Yeah, there's not a lot of JRPGs, and and it's just in video games, and especially here in America, everything has its cycles. And yeah. JRPGs had their cycle yes, they in, did. in the PS1, and now you don't really see a lot of that uh, JRPGs around. You like right now, you have a lot of uh, first-person shooters, and in the PS1 era, you really didn't have a lot of first-person shooters. Um, and you can even, in fact, go online and hear a lot of people complaining that there's not enough JRPGs. Uh, that's not me. I'm not a real big fan of those. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of role-playing games, like I've said, I don't know, countless number of times on, the, on this on this show. You're not a fan of JRPGs. Not, JRPGs, not, or, or traditional RPGs. You're a fan of Western RPGs. Action RPGs, I can play all day, every day. And like Secret of Mana, that's, that's not a Western RPG. But I love that game. Secret of Evermore, I love that game. Those games are awesome. Fucking epic games. If they ever come out with those in HDs, I'd buy that so fucking quick. I don't care about an online pass. Me too. But the last game I want to mention is it's not the most anticipated game. Um, but it's got to be Rainbow Six Patriots. Rainbow Six, it's been a while since they dropped the title, you know. Uh, it was Rainbow Six Vegas too, and that game was, was awesome. It was great. I really loved it. And this one, you know, deals with, you know, 
like terrorism at home on the homeland, almost almost like home front, just with better graphics and a better story. So, but the I, enemies are us, and the enemies are us, and I I can't wait. That game is going to be so awesome. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. So that's it. That's our top ten games of 2012. Fuck yeah. Fucking awesome games. 2012 is, is looking to be a great year for video games. We're going to be spending a, a ton of cash and a ton of time just keeping up with, with all those fucking epic video games. And, and the rumors of, well not the rumors, the, the, the new Wii system coming out this the year. The new Wii U. And the rumors of the new uh, 360 or the, the new Microsoft and Sony uh, systems coming out later this year. Uh, I are they the, coming out later this year? The, I just thought they were going to do an announce rumor. they're going to drop. So they're, they're going to announce it like E3 or something. They might. That's what I've, what I heard. I've heard that they're going to come out with them this year. Later on later on, later on in the year. Let's see. We'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, we're going to spend a lot of money in 2012. Just and like in 2011. I spent so much money in 2011, people. Um, I think I've spent more last year than I did any other year of, of gaming. Yeah, me too. And I did a lot of retro shopping like the year before and a couple of, a couple of years before that. But, I mean, just last year alone, I mean, I spent so much money on games. Especially in the last couple of months. Like, I went back and I watched some of our, our recent pickup videos. And I was like, God, how much money did I spend? Too much. Too much. But it's all good because we're spending it on video games. On video games. Hell yeah. But uh, anyway, till next time, YouTube, stay up and game, game on. on.